Arupe Tribal Cultural Center at Bhoganadi in Jharkhand in Eastern India launches Indigenous World Series. The idea is to highlight the positive values and nuances of indigenous way of life so that we can learn a lot for our life. Today's reflection is based on the indigenous practice of helping nature regenerate itself. I am P.A. Chako of Arupa Tribal Cultural Center. The indigenous world is one of promotion of regeneration of nature. That is to say, the indigenous who are called Adivasis in India have much to teach us in terms of need and greed. First of all, for ages they have been depending on nature and natural resources. Industrialization and commercialization are not in their gene. Their dependence on nature manifests itself in their going to nature to look for what they need. Yes, for what they need, not for accumulation. They do not take away materials from their natural surroundings, be they forests or rivulets, for the sake of accumulation. In other words, they do not loot the forest or drain out fishes from rivers or canals at one go. Generally, it is for their day's need. Such practices are regulated by village sanction so that nature may be helped to regenerate. My friend and guru, Dr. Peter Paul Hembron, a noted ethnobotanist and expert in indigenous medicine, has taught me a beautiful tribal practice as an example. According to him, when a traditional medicine man goes to pull out a medicinal herb, he does it with one breath and a jerk. The idea is that at least some roots will remain back in the earth to regenerate. If he were to pull out slowly and steadily, then naturally the whole plant will come out. We in the commercial and industrial world do not understand this type of logic. But this logic is based on value. There are many such examples of traditional wisdom the indigenous can teach us. As Alice in Wonderland went into the rabbit hole with curiosity and found out quite many things, if we get into the tribal world with the humility and curiosity, we can learn a lot of things for our life. Today in the world of rat race and competition, we try to forget certain good values. Instead, greed overpowers us. Accumulation entices us. As a result, we drain out resources of nature, resources from our earth planet and make life difficult for others and for us too. Let us learn from the Adivasis this beautiful custom of helping nature regenerate itself.